I need you. No, that's lame. I need your help. Let's just get into it. This is Becoming Swedish. In just under one year's time, I get to put in my application to be Swedish. Currently, I'm a British citizen living in Sweden. Now, this is a huge deal. It's not just a passport or a piece of paper that you get from the government. I become a citizen of a whole new country. It's a new identity. It's a new culture. And I started to think, am I ready for this? I mean, sure, I'm going to meet the legal criteria, hopefully. But in my heart, am I a Swede? So I started chatting to some friends and family and colleagues. And I said, what do I need to be Swedish? What would qualify me? What do I need to watch? Where do I need to go? Who do I need to talk to? What do I need to experience? So we started to write a list. So we put down in this book all the things that... I thought I would need to do to qualify me to be Swedish. It was a good list, it was a good start, but it wasn't enough. So I got on Twitter, put a message out there and said, look, I want to be Swedish, what do I need to know? And the, the response was incredible, partly thanks to the Swedish Institute who retweeted it and it brought in Swedes from the north, from the south, from living in the US, living all over, Swedes just living down the street. And they gave me an incredible amount of suggestions. And honestly, it's taken me the whole weekend to go through the suggestions. And there's, there's some real favorites. There's uh, from places to visit, Visby, Kiruna, some uh, suggestions that came up quite often. There was a lot of suggestions about things I should be eating, making my own kanelbulla, eating surströmming was one that came up several times. Uh, and of course, then Sweden has this great, rich culture of films and TV and books. So there was a whole list of those that I think would take me 10 years to read. So I had these really great conversations on Twitter. And this isn't what Twitter is normally like. Twitter is normally a shouting factory. So it was really refreshing to meet these people that wanted to tell me about their culture and their daily lives. So it got me thinking. What if this project of me learning about Sweden was more than me traveling the country and eating nice food and reading a book? What if it was about meeting Swedes and doing the things that they like to do in their lives, being Swedish? What if this was about me integrating and really becoming Swedish? But before I can even think about that, I really, I just have to sort through this list. There were just so many great suggestions. So let's get to it. So now the list is complete. I have a rough roadmap on what I need to do to qualify myself to be a real Swede. But there's one thing missing, real Swedes. I need help, I need your help. If you're Swedish, I need your help. If you have Swedish friends, I need you to send this video to them. For this to be a real integration process, I need to meet Swedes. I need to find out firsthand from Swedes up and down the country or all around the world of what it means to be a Swede. So this is a call for help. I'm going to take the list and I'm going to post it in the description below. I'm also going to put it on my Twitter account, at TJ Sprague. So if you're going to a game, hiking a mountain, watching a film, get in touch. I want to become Swedish and I need your help. This is Becoming Swedish.